WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all at 2 p.m. on Monday. What do we have? The market is getting ready to test its previous lows. Uh, we'll talk about that on the show here in a few minutes. At the moment, we've got the S&P off 1.2.5%, NASDAQ off 7 tenths, uh, Dow down 1.3, almost 4%, uh, Russell's down 1.4%, crude's off uh, 2%, gold's down 1.5%. So um, I don't know if there's any a whole lot to say. We'll talk about it uh, during the show today. Uh, I've always been a disciple of uh, Richard Wyckoff, holding his book up here, if we actually see it. We'll talk about it on the show. Uh, but uh, he was a very interesting individual. He had kind of uh, the uh, magazine that ended up being uh, the Wall Street Journal over time. Yeah, a lot of people come in and tell him different ways to trade the market. Uh, and uh, his ways have lasted over 100 years. They probably weren't uh, effective all 100 years, uh, like the last five years, especially where the Fed was uh, intended to uh, manipulate the market. But uh, as soon as they let off the accelerator, uh, almost everything works exactly like it did 100, 120 years ago when he put all of it down in a book. Anyway, we'll discuss that today. Uh, other things going on, um, you know, it's mostly a war today on who can raise interest rates the quickest. Of course, that affects the dollar, but we have uh, uh, higher interest rates uh, now in the UK. Elections in Italy will probably see higher interest rates there. Uh, there's some other stuff going on geopolitically. We'll talk about that today. But uh, for the most part, we're looking and starting to get some at least some real worry in the market. And until we see them throw the baby out with bath water and get uh, very depressed, probably not going to have a look. We'll be back in a minute with this show. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest